Hi and welcome to this short query elements tutorial. In this video I will demonstrate the checkboxes filter and how you integrate it with the archive widget. First let's add our filter. Here we can see on the query tab, we have our various types, tags, categories, and taxonomies. On the content tab, we can display a title and display a search button. So let's enable those. Let's add a title. Here we have the type tags. Now let's click the archive widget. Go to the tags section and just enable use query parameter. Let's update. And go to our cafe page. Here we have our tags. Let's select the coffee tag since this is added on the various cafes. Click search. And all the cafes with the tag coffee is shown. If we take another tag that is not added to the cafes, nothing is found. Let's go back to our editor. Let's change it to categories. Click the archive again. Disable tags. And enable the use query parameter on the categories section. Let's refresh. And here we have our various categories, even though it says tags because we didn't change the title. Let's click a category and search. And yes, the cafes belong to that category is listed. Let's go back to our editor. Let's disable the categories section. Go back to our filter, select taxonomies. Here we select the taxonomy to use. In this case, we will use specialities. Now let's click the archive widget. Go to the taxonomy section. Add a new criterion. And here we select the taxonomy specialities and the term taxonomy ID. Let's use the query parameter field source. Let's update. Go back to our search page and refresh. And now the specialities are listed. Let's select one. Let's select both. And as you can see, the results are updated when you're searching. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments section below. Have a nice day.